Are you looking to do more with your WordPress site, but you're limited to what your plugins can do? Well, there's a single plugin that lets you integrate with multiple applications that are not even WordPress or WordPress based. So what you can do essentially is send data outside of WordPress to a CRM, an email marketing system, or whatever you want to do with it or the other way around. How about bringing in data from another platform and creating a user for WooCommerce, a user for your course, etc. You can do a whole lot of things with this single plugin. So it's pretty cool. Stick around, head on over to my dashboard and show you what I'm talking about right now. Okay, this is the bit integration side. If you guys wanna check it out, there's a deal going on right now and that link will be provided in the description. So let's get started with this. Like I mentioned before, we're able to send out data and receive data with our WordPress site. Now that's pretty cool because you can do a whole lot with it. Let's go into my test demo WordPress site and I already have installed Bit Integrations Pro plugin, okay? So like I mentioned before, you can do a whole lot of things. Let's get started with the first thing. Let's create an integration. And these are the triggers that we can get started with. A trigger is the thing that's going to happen in order to do something, okay? So it's the first thing. Now, for example, if I use the trigger for WooCommerce, that means that, for example, if someone buys something on your store, a user is created and we can do something with that information that we receive. So for example, we can do something with the name, the email, the order amount, the order ID, etc., and send it to our CRM, our email marketing campaign, etc., or our Google Sheet, whatever you want to do with it. We also have an option, for example, webhook. We can send data via webhook to somewhere else. Again, to Zapier, Public Connect, Integrately, Integromat, which is now Make, and send that data to there to create something with it. Now, it's pretty cool that we have these plugins already built in that we can use. If you have these plugins installed already, which I already have, I'm using Tutor LMS, I'm using WooCommerce, and I'm also using the Divi plugin. So in that case, I can use Divi, I can use Tutor LMS, and I can use one WooCommerce for the integration and Webhook, which we don't, any, we don't need any plugin for this. If you're using Fluid Forms, you can do that also. Amelia, Elementor, etc. all right? Let's get started with the first test. So let's start off with WooCommerce. And what do we want to do with it? These are the tasks that are available as of this video. And also with integrations, as of this video, that's what's available. So in case a customer is created, customer edit, customer delete, product create, etc. For example, if we want, if a customer is created, we're gonna use that data to do something with it. Or if we delete a customer, maybe we want to also delete from our CRM, our marketing campaign, unsubscribe them, or anything that you want to do with it. So let's cust use this customer create. Let's go next. And what do we want to do with this? We have all these options available, okay? And for this case, let's use Zapier, okay? And we can name this, we'll keep it just as it is. And in this case, we need a link that we're going to grab from Zapier. So let's go into Zapier. And for this, I have already opened up the Zap right here and we're gonna create a new one. I've selected Webhook by Zapier. And in this case, we have these options. And for this one, we're gonna use Catch Hook, okay? So what does that mean? That we're gonna send out data from WordPress with the Bit Integrations plugin and we're gonna catch it over here on Zapier to do something with it. So let's copy this link. Let's go right here, let's add the link here, and the, the method is post, okay? So we're sending data. We're, at, we're gonna add parameters first before we test the hook. So for example, let's say we're gonna use the name. We're gonna select a value from here, we'll say first name, and for this one we'll use email, and select it there, and you can add more parameters to it. In this case, I'll keep it simple. I'll use test webhook. Webhook has been executed successfully. Let's go into Zapier. Okay, and let's go ahead and continue. Let's test the trigger. So we're receiving that data and here it is. We have the email and the name. Obviously this variable is gonna be updated with the data that it's going to send out from a user that's just been created. It's gonna send the email and the first name. Let's go click and continue. And that's automated. So every time that someone buys something on WooCommerce, a user is created and it's gonna send that data here. Now, what do you want to do with it? Well, there's infinite possibilities here that you can do with it. For example, if you wanna send it to a CRM like HubSpot, just select it and tie that data so it sends that data correctly over there. Or maybe you want to send it to your email campaign, send it to Active Campaign, send in blue, send grid, send fox, etc. Just like that, we're able to receive that data and send it, so it's super easy to integrate. We can also use conditional logic for this. So for example, 
if the form field email um, not contain, so if it doesn't contain the at at the email, well, we're not going to continue because we want that there. All emails have it. And we can use the or if field right here. So for example, if one or the other doesn't meet the criteria, it's not going to continue. Or we can use the and. So both of these have to meet the criteria in order to continue, okay? So in this case, I'm not gonna use conditional logic, but I'll hit continue, finish and save. And we have added this. It's ready, it's good to go. When a user is created, it's gonna send that data. Obviously, if you want to tie in more fields from the variables, like last name, the, I don't know, the form, the, the order amount, the order ID, etc., and send all of that over there. We can turn it off, we can turn it on. We have some actions for the information, the timeline for all the triggers, the edit, clone it, or delete it. Just like that, we are able to integrate. We're able to send out data super easily. Let's go to create, okay? Again, what do we want to do something else with this? So for example, if we go into webhook, I'll select it, we are presented with a webhook. That way it's gonna send data to somewhere else. So for example, let's go ahead and copy this. And for this one, let's use, uh, we'll use Pally for this, okay? So Pally Connect is right here. I'm using this for demo. We have a webhook right here, but in this case, we're gonna use the API to post data. We're gonna use the link that we've just got provided and we can add parameters to this. So for example, if we have name and we'll add one more, we can use email and we'll keep it simple. And the values, you tie them from the system that you're capturing information. So whatever you have connected here, for example, Google Forms, WooCommerce, Elementor, etc. there's a bunch of things that you can connect with to send that data over here to do something with it. That's gonna depend on what you want to do with it. So for example, for a name, I'll just type it in, but again, use the fields from your automation. For the email, I'll use my email, I'll save and send request. There we go. The information, let's go into fetch. Let's set the action. What do you want to do with that data? Well, now we're gonna do something like, for example, if we want to create a user in Tutor LMS, so let's just say that someone signed up on a form that you have somewhere else and you want to automatically create, sign them into a course from Tutor LMS, you can do so right there. You can do user registration. So for example, let's try that. We'll select the fields. These are the fields that I have. I'll grab the name. Oh, it's asking for the email. So I'll use the email field to tie into that. I'll use another one. And this one is going to be tied to the username. I'll use the name field, okay? The user email notification, yes or no. Admin email notification, yes or no, if you wanna activate that. WP user role. So what is this person going to be? In this case, is it gonna be an administrator? Be aware that they have access to everything. In this case, it's recommended that you, that you use author, contribu contributor, subscriber. If it's gonna be a tutor um, instructor, use that, customer, shop manager. Depending on the plugins that you have, it's gonna give you a list of what you have. So for example, I have Tutor LMS, so I am getting this option. But in this case, I'll use author, yeah, I'll use subscriber, okay? Auto login after registration, I'll keep that off. And user meta field map, so if you want to map something over here, we can do so right there. And also we have conditional logic. So let's go ahead and save this. And there we go. So just like that with Pavly Connect, if something happens, I don't know what platform you have connected, it's gonna send that data and it's gonna create the user on your WordPress site. So if you sold something on another store, another WordPress site or whatever, and you also want to create a user on this site, that's possible. It's, go it's going to do it automatically. That's how cool the bit integration is. And you can do a whole lot of things with this. I mean, we can go on and on, especially with Webhook. We can do so much because we can use platforms like Public Connect and Zapier to do all those automations and connections. But if you don't want to use those and the plugin is available here, well, you can use it. For example, WooCommerce, Divi, et cetera. In this case, I'm using Divi. And if I have a form created, for example, I don't have a form in any of my pages. But if I have a form created, I can send that data to somewhere else if I like. Or with that form creation, I can create a, web, a WooCommerce user inside of my own WordPress site. So using the form, you could do something else with it already inside of your WordPress site just by using the bit integrations. 
So it's pretty cool that we have all these options with bit integrations without having to install a bunch of plugins with like a bunch of load on your site. Or we'll just use we'll just use bit integrations and do all the automations with it. Like I said, you could do a whole lot more with WordPress by using this plugin. But there you go. That is bit integrations for you. If you guys want to grab it, that link will be provided in the description. If you buy through that link, it helps me out with a small commission, but it's not going to cost you a single cent more. Well, there you go. I thank you all for watching. My name is George. This is SaaS Master, and I'll see you guys later.